Today is the first day of July. I started the morning with Duolingo and I found out about the challenge for this month. It's called Fall Staff Discovery and what do UFOs have to do with summer? I got a 1070 day streak on Duolingo today and I'll have a 1100 day streak by the end of this month. I played Sonic CD, watched some videos, played Sonic Mania, and ate breakfast. I watched some videos and listened to music. I played a lot of Sonic Mania and then played Mario Kart with Zoe. I ate lunch and watched some videos and then I went swimming at Pastor Mari's Lake. I also ate hot dogs for dinner at their house. I listened to music, watched videos, and then I went home. I took a shower, watched a lot of videos, and read comics with Dad. I started the day of watching a lot of videos and then I ate breakfast. I got dressed, brushed my teeth, and went to church. I read a book, sang some songs, and then we did a slideshow. And there's a photo of me swimming in there. We did a children's sermon and I read a verse on the microphone. We went to our kids' time and we sang a lot of songs there. We also played outside for a while. We also finished the church service and I read some books for a while. After church, I listened to music for a while and then I went home. Zoe and Dad talked to me for a while and then I played Mario Galaxy. I ate lunch and played Mario Kart with Zoe. I also watched Face and Fur with her and watched a lot of videos. I went to a bookstore with Dad and read a lot of Big Nate comics there. I read home and looked at comics on my computer. I ate dinner and pre-ordered my Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom guidebook. It will be released on July 7th, the same day as Zoe's birthday and Mom and Dad's anniversary. I read comics with Dad, did Duolingo, watched videos, took a shower, and did today's verse of the day. Also, my Mario movie poster finally got hung up today. Today, I get to go back to summer camp. I listened to music this morning and ate breakfast. I got a notification about a comment I made on YouTube three weeks ago. I got dressed and brushed my teeth, and then I packed my bag. We went back to camp, and Mr. Casey took me back into the school. I also saw Emma again, in her usual hairstyle. Yes! I talked to her about this weekend, and I went back into the classroom. It feels so good to be back. I read a book and then we went to the gym. We did some exercises and we played soccer. We're going to play soccer all week. I told Emma about my trip to Barnes & Noble and we went back. The hallway was really dark and then we went back to the classroom. We talked about our weekends and then we got new jobs. This week I'm a floor sweeper with Evan. Since Maya wasn't here, Emma did the weather and daily news. Today is Monday, July 3rd, the weather is sunny and hot, and the message of the day is stay hydrated. We made a pot out of clay, and we talked about what a plant needs to grow. We made a bean sprout journal, and I drew Sonic on the front of it. On the first page, which is July 3rd, week 1, I drew my beans. I also put my beans in a plastic cup and put the cup on the windowsill. We played this or that, which is basically would you rather. Then we played musical chairs and I got out around the time there were five chairs left. One of the songs playing was Under the Sea from The Little Mermaid 2023. Then we played another round. I ate lunch and read some books. And then we went to Miss Elizabeth and Miss Micah's room to do a bead activity. I made a flower out of beads and Miss Elizabeth helped me a little. It took a long time for me to finish, but I finally finished it. Also, according to a board in the room, it's Tuesday, July 4th. What? I think the clock was sent wrong. I also had my flower project ironed. Next, we played Pictionary. I guessed one of the pictures, a wedding ring, and I took a turn. I drew a trampoline. 
After that, we did cup stacking. I wasn't very good at it, but I got through it. I once got 35.43 seconds. I got a little tired, and then we made our way back to the Junior Ventures room. The people from the other room came also. We did karaoke next, and one of the songs was Part of Your World from The Little Mermaid 2023. I tried playing a Sonic song for karaoke, but Mr. Keith said it has to have words. I thought of a song from The Little Mermaid 2023 that's new to the live action remake. After a few songs, I got up and sang for the first time. It was snack time and the lights came back on. The lights were off during karaoke time. I read a book and during that time, people continued to karaoke. It took a while, but we finally went to a gym. I bounced the ball for a long time, and then we went back. I packed up my bag, and we went back to the other room, and I waited to get picked up. Dad took a while to get here, and I waited in the hallway with Miss Emma. It was very dark outside, and there's a storm coming our way. I listened to music in the car, and it was raining really hard. I could barely see where I'm going, and I had to run into a house in order to not get too wet. I downloaded Sonic the Hedgehog on the iPad, but I had to have Dad clear some storage space first. It was good to play Sonic on the iPad again. I also played Sonic 2, but before I did that, I deleted another app I was using, which was Leps World 1. I ate tacos for dinner, listened to music, and played New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe with Zoe. I threw Zoe into an enemy, electricity, and into poison. I watched, you guessed it, a lot of videos and did some comics on the computer. I also did Duolingo and by the end of the session, it froze up again on my computer. I took a shower, read comics with dad, and picked a Bible plan for the mid-year challenge. I did the verse of the day, or should it be night? Today is the 4th of July, so that means I get a day off from camp. I played Sonic 1 and 2 on the iPad, and I listened to some Sonic Mania music. I went on YouTube, and my comments from last night got a heart from Nick the Angry Birds and Angry Birds Gaming. I watched a lot of videos, played Super Mario Maker 2, and watched a lot more videos. One of these days, I'm going to to replay the story mode in Super Mario Maker 2 for the first time since August 2019. I know, I can't believe I didn't do it before, but I think I found a way to do it now. I ate breakfast and made a video. I watched some videos and looked at pictures on my old camera. I wanted to do it since I found the camera yesterday, but we finally got working today. I listened to music, watched videos, and made a Super Mario Odyssey video. It took a while to make because I had trouble getting a certain power moon. I watched Phineas and Ferb with Zoe, ate lunch, and watched another episode of Phineas and Ferb with Zoe. I watched, yeah that's right, a lot of videos. And then I went swimming at the YMCA. And while I was swimming, I heard a song about July. It was the same song from summer camp and also a song I remember hearing a long time ago. When I got out of the pool, I watched videos on Dad's phone, and I also saw Mr. Keith, or at least someone who looks exactly like him. I listened to music on the way home, and then I edited my Mario Odyssey video and uploaded it to YouTube. I ate dinner, watched videos, took a shower, and ate a snack. Today, I get to go back to summer camp. I watched a video and listened to music, and then I ate breakfast. I got dressed, brushed my teeth, packed my bag, and then I went to camp. In the car, I found out that my Zelda book is coming between July 21st and August 22nd, but Amazon just gave that big date range because the book hasn't been released yet. I also ordered a new Big Nate book, Beware of Low Flying Corn Muffins, and a new journal. I read a book, and then I got to camp. 
when I saw Emma again, I told her what I did on the 4th of July. I went back to a classroom and read a book. We went to a gym and we did an obstacle course. I went through it two times and then we all went through it together. I ran around the gym and then we went back to the classroom. The question of the day was, what did you get on your hamburger slash cheeseburger? My answer is lettuce. Yup, that's it. We did weather and daily news. Today is July 5th, 2023. The day of a week is Wednesday and the weather is cloudy with a chance of meatballs? That doesn't seem real. The message of the day is you can be positive and sad at the same time. We did a floating art activity and I drew something random on a plate. Mr. Keith poured water on the plate to make my art float. We did Would You Rather and Emma poured baking soda into a cup for our next activity. Then she poured water in the cup. I ate a gummy worm and then we did the gummy worm experiment. I predicted they were going to dance in the baking soda, but when they were dropped into the soda, they sank. Next we did conversation cards. We took turns asking and answering questions. My two partners were Evan and Maya. Mr. Keefe also asked the group some questions. I ate lunch and ate a, and read a book and then we made paper airplanes. I customized my airplane to make it look really cool. We flew our paper airplanes in the hallway and then we got locked out of our classroom. Thankfully, an adult unlocked the door. Also, I told Emma her last name is Nasta. Watson backwards. We played Would You Rather and then I did some free time. I continued decorating my paper airplane and then we played musical chairs. We did an egg spoon race and I didn't drop the egg. We did an, a drawing activity and we drew Otto from Minions The Rise of Gru. After drawing the picture, I looked at the day the drawing tutorial came out, March 2023. But Emma told me not to touch my computer. Next, we built something out of marshmallows and toothpicks. I made a very interesting shape out of these materials. And then Emma took a picture of me with my masterpiece. I ate marshmallows after the activity. And then I read a book during snack time. I bounced the ball in the gym. And then I did my job in the classroom, which is sleeping the floor. We went back to the other room, which is the multi-purpose room. I read a book. And then I got picked up. Dad also met Emma and she said that she'd send him pictures from camp. We went home and I listened to music on the way. When I got home, I finally played the story mode in Super Mario Maker 2 for the first time in three years. That This was my first Switch game ever. So this sure brought back memories from August 2019. I would have done it sooner, but there is no way to start over. Unless I use a different Switch profile. I ate dinner and played Mario Kart with Zoe. I also sang happy birthday to Uncle Jeff and then I played Bowser's Fury with Zoe. I did some time challenges on Duolingo and then I played Sonic 1 and 2 on the iPad. I watched a video and took a shower and then I read with Dad. Today is Preston's birthday at camp. I know that because I looked at the camp calendar yesterday. I did Duolingo and had fun with it. And then I watched a Duolingo video I made on April 10th, 2021. I ate breakfast and listened to music and then I got dressed. I brushed my teeth, packed my bag, and then I went to camp. I looked at the pictures Emma sent to Dad's phone and then I went to my classroom. I read some of my old journals and then we went to a gym. We walked around, did some exercises, and played soccer. When we got back, we did the question of today. What is your favorite smell? One of my favorite smells in the, is the smell of my journal. We also did weather and daily news. Today is Thursday, but weather is cloudy and the message of today is Enjoy the small things in life. 
We did some pull string art, and because it was a messy project, we washed our hands. We did yoga, and then we did board games. I tried playing Battleship with Simon, but he took too long to set up the game, so we didn't end up playing. We sang Happy Birthday to Preston in the New Ventures room. He turned 20 today. I ate lunch, and I also ate a cupcake that Mr. Casey gave me for Preston's birthday. During some of my free time, I read my old journal from 2021. It's the same one I read on YouTube. We played magic musical chairs and Catherine run round one. We played another round and I got out again, but I survived longer. We hung out and I spent the time stacking connect four pieces. Next we did Just Dance and when it was my turn to pick a song, I chose the Mario song from Just Dance 2018. Some of the other songs were We Don't Talk About Bruno and YMCA. At the end of the activity, Emma picked a song called September. She should have picked the song about July because it's July. I danced for a while and then I got really tired. Mr. Nick from gym read some messages from his phone. They were really funny. We played human tic-tac-toe and then we played I Spy. We explored the hallway, cafeteria, and camp office to find things. Some of the things we found were the sun, which was a painting, a bookshelf, which was also a painting, gloves, something on fire, and a stuffed Mike Wazowski. We went back to the classroom and waited to get picked up early by Dad. We got home at about 3.20 and I listened to music in the car. At home, I played Sonic Origins and Super Mario Maker 2 and then I recorded and edited a video about my old stories and uploaded it to YouTube. I packed my bag and then we went to Zoe's birthday party at the Greenbrier Family Skating Center. Her birthday is actually tomorrow, but we're celebrating it today. I played a lot of video games, ate a lot of snacks, and ate pizza. I watched videos and listened to music, and then we sang Happy Birthday to Zoe. I ate more cake and then I went home. I took a shower and Dad got the headphones I left in the van. I also received my big notebook and my journal in a package. Today is Zoe's birthday. I read my new big notebook and did Duolingo. I ate pancakes for breakfast and said, and sang happy birthday to Zoe. She is turning nine this year. I packed my bag and we went to camp. Zoe was playing Leps World Free, the same game I play on the iPad. I also play it on the computer, but some of the levels are broken. Zoe actually completed a level in the game and I screamed. She also played Doodle Jump 1 and 2, but I don't mind too much. When we arrived, I went to a classroom and told Emma about last night. I read a book and then we went to a gym. I bounced the ball for a long time and then we went back. The question of the day is, what would your superpower be? Mine would be the ability to make lots of videos in a day because I have so many video ideas. Also, today is Friday, but weather is sunny and today's message is, in order to succeed, you must learn to fail. We made a bouncy ball out of slime, which doesn't actually bounce. We made kinetic sand and did some more Just Dance. Speaking of which, I actually watched a launch trailer for Just Dance 2017 last night at Zoe's surprise party. Today I danced to a lot of songs, including one called Soy Yo, which is Spanish. Also one of the Just Dance videos is called don't watch this video, but we watched it anyway. I ate lunch and showed Emma some big Nate comics. I also showed some other people one of my yearbooks. Ne Next, we were supposed to write three things we like about summer on a cardboard letter, but instead of three things, I wrote six things. I also got some yarn tied up on the letter. After that, we played Guess the Song, led by Miss Micah. There's also a Mr. Micah here. 
Instead of playing random songs from Spotify, we watched a guess the song video. I knew some of the songs, but I didn't know other songs. Some of the songs were from Rise of Gru and the Super Mario Brothers movie. The video was only made two months ago, so that's why there were songs from recent movies. We also guessed the movie by emoji and guessed the song with only one word. Next, we painted the pots we made on Monday. Emma thought I wasn't there on Monday, but she was mistaken. I painted the pot red, and then I drew a picture of Sonic. We went to the gym, and we played a game where we hold a parachute and keep the balls bouncing. We also played cornhole and tug of war. After that, we went to the ice cream social, and I saw my family there. They met the staff and explored the school and the classroom. We sat down and talked about camp. I didn't really know what else to do until Emma brought me some paper. Mom suggested I draw something from camp, but I was nervous to do that since I haven't done a drawing about real life in a long time. We went home and I played Bowser's Fury with Zoe, but her controller was drifting and I was hoping for Zoe to get a pro controller for her birthday. We went downstairs and I watched Zoe open presents and she got a pro controller! Yes! I played Super Mario 3D World and Super Mario Odyssey with Zoe. Zoe's controller wasn't working very well at first, but we fixed it by reconnecting it. I ate dinner, played Super Mario Maker 2, watched videos, read comics with mom, played some Sonic games, and took a shower.